Morning, it's early October and it's the first day of our shooting season. It's been a funny old season really with the rearing. It's been so dry and so hot. I got my birds about the 15th of June and that's really when the heat wave hit us. Water's been a major issue this year. They've been using twice as much as they normally do, so it's been a constant job. It's pros and cons. We haven't had the wet weather. Normally, as soon as you put birds to wood, thunderstorms start. We haven't had the wet, damp weather, which they need to get the wax gland working in the back to feather up nicely. Nevertheless, it's going to be a cool day. We're going to enjoy it. We're going to do a bit of walking and hopefully we'll get one and two in the bag. So it's a syndicate day today. It's meant to be a 150 bird day, but because it's a syndicate, I'm going to try and shoot just over the 200. I'm going to try and do it in four drives. I want to do three drives this morning. We'll break for lunch and then I'm going to do one good drive this afternoon. We have got hundreds of beaters. It's like the amalgamation of a family wedding. Everybody comes from all over the two counties and this morning it's a bit of a party atmosphere. I'm feeling a little bit nervous, I'm not going to lie to you, but I'm looking forward to it and hopefully we'll have a good day. At the minute, it's pretty much perfect conditions. There's no sun and there's a bit of a breeze, but it is the first day. We don't really know how they're going to go. I'm hoping the partridge, especially this afternoon, are going to be absolutely outstanding. They seem to be going well and when I'm feeding the drives, they look fit and they're flying well on their own. So that's enough of me talking. It's time for a coffee and give some boys instructions. We all know where we're going, we've done it before, so keep an eye on one another and um, it'll all go swimmingly, won't it? <laughs> and if there's any trouble, Paul is going to sort you out. So he's got a stick and a flag. You know, scary. Double landing. <laughs> you any chickens? Yeah, you'll see us come, you'll see us come down, you can work this through. Right, David, you know where we're going here, don't you, Josh? Well, you start here, yeah. you work on the left-hand side of this valley. I'm going to the end of this place, though, yeah. and I'm going to come across in front of you. Okay, so we've just been dropped off by Tony. I should think he'd be about three quarters of a mile away down there on the road. And we've made our way up to um, the back, and this is our boundary here, as you can see, which is where the quarry is and that fence line working up there. You can see Amy down in the bottom there we've got Katie in the middle and we've dropped the other guys off here we're at our furthest point for this first drive and what we're going to do we're going to blank it in towards the front there's probably no need to blank it in at this time of the year but basically anything that's up here I'm getting it back towards aim we don't really need it there should be plenty of birds down there but well, our plan is now we're going to just let the dogs work it because we're miles away from where we need to be and anything that gets up hopefully should go towards aim so we're going to take a steady walk now and we're going to go on Okay, first drive done and dusted. We nearly got to the flushing point, which is all good. There's quite a lot of birds in there. They shot 50 odd off it. That's what the old man said when he was counting on his clicker, they got 50 odd, so he blew up early. Okay. Beaters worked well. Dogs, not so much, eh, mate? But it's all a bit exciting for them as it was. But it's hot and the wind's dropped. But at least the sun's not out. So we're off to blank in the second drive now, which is Round Hill, which is we're here. And if you can see behind the farm there, that's the wood that we're going to be driving next over the valley into the wood behind us. One of the better drives on the estate, so hoping for good things. Okay, we're about got to the 
flushing point on the second drive. We've come around the side of this hill to try and hold everything on the top. And the guys are just starting to come through here. There's Dan and Rob just come up there. And there's loads running in front. Unfortunately, we've got chainsaws working from the Forestry Commission over the back there. So that scuppered one of my drives this afternoon, but we'll still be okay, I think. <laughs> Dan, just drop into this side here when you've cleared that ride, yeah? Okay, guys, off we go. Second drive done and dusted, we've just come out of the wood there. Not as well as I'd hoped, but there you go. There was plenty enough shooting, they've shot over 50 off it, but it's absolutely so still. They were like coming out of the wood, and instead of going in the wind and taking it on and going over the back there, they were sort of dying to the guns here, so not as happy as uh, normally off there, but onwards and upwards. Everybody seems happy enough, so I suppose I should be, but it's a keeper thing. You're never happy, not until we've finished. This is Chapel Hill, or Sean's Garden as we call it. We've had lunch, very nice lunch it was too. Bit of stew, bit of slow gin, can't go wrong. And we're all lined out now for the third drive. I wanted to do this before lunch, but the guns wanted to have lunch. So we're going to do this now. They've started shooting already, I can hear them. They'll be a bit jumpy, I reckon. So we're going to do this, and then we're going over, and then we're going to do Canada. So we've got about 110 dead. So the morning's been okay. We're going to get rocking and rolling now, and we'll get this done. All right, guys. Yeah, are you in the That was that drive done after lunch. Went really well, lots of shooting anyway. I, you can't really see from where we are, but really good, over 150 shots there. So should have had 40 birds off that, with it being as still as it is. We're off to do Canada now, which is going to be our last drive of the day. This will be a mixture of partridge and pheasants. But I'm going to walk the guys over. We're going to line out down the hedgerow and bring it back. Normally we blank it in, but I think we're ahead of the curve now. But I'm going to risk it for a biscuit, not blank it in, and just do it as we do it and shoot what's in it. Okay, so there we go, that was Canada. Went really well, breeze was nice. Kept stopping a little bit to let the sun go in so they weren't looking directly into it because it's time of the year, we can't really help it. God put it up there. God knows why he put it at the end of my drive, but he did. Really happy, they flew well. Some amazing partridge shot off that. I was lucky enough to be stood on the top here. So hopefully we'll have 200 and something dead. We've had 734 shots, so it's been good. I think the boys have had enough. They're looking pretty tired, bless him. All in all, happy gamekeeper. So, We'll rug up, we'll go back and do a final count. Okay. 
Okay, so that's it. We're done and dusted. It's been a good first day. I've enjoyed it. It's been a nice atmosphere today. It's like old friends, the family, everybody turning up after not seeing anybody all summer, not hearing from anybody since February. They all came back. We've got a few new faces, not many. Much of them are pretty on the old team, but it's always nice seeing new people. We've shot over 200, we've shot 205. I was hoping for a few more, but it's been a bit challenging with the weather. The wind hasn't really blown, especially first day through the pheasants. They can be a bit lazy. They'll be a bit keener next week. The partridge were absolutely excellent on the last drive. I was very, very pleased with how they went. The weather, like I say, can be challenging. This is the way you've got to gauge your day from one day to the next. You can't really say, right, we're going to start there. We're going to do this, we're going to do that. Because the wind could be wrong, the sun could be out. If it's cloudy, you can do pretty much any drive any way you want to. But if the sun's in the gun's faces, you've got to play it all by ear. So I've got a good team of guys around me and we sort it all out. Mainly all the family here, from granddad, myself, Sue's the wife, the kids, they're all here. It's a proper family affair. We love it the way it is. So yeah, I'm chuffed. They've had 734 shots to get the 204 birds. It's been a really, really good day and I'm looking forward to next week already.